Like, hey, we'll need some help solving this creepy mystery. Like, how about typing in your name before we start? Like, groovy, hip, out of sight, right on, man, way out. Let's get moving. Spooktacular. Spooky. Los Burritos. Well, gang, we found a town. Maybe we can stop for a snack. Yeah, Rex. Like, what a dump! Uh, I'm not sure there's going to be a hot dog stand around here, guys. According to this map, Los Burritos is a ghost town. Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> not real ghost, guys. Velma just means the town is deserted. Like, we knew that. We were just... Oh, uh, Velma. Like, what sort of sound would a ghost make if it did live in this town? Good question, Shaggy. Let's find out where that moaning is coming from. We've got to find out where that moaning is coming from. Which way should we go? Like, forget it! I'm not going over there! Not even for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Let's keep exploring. We're sure to find something. Like the moaning is really getting louder. That means we're on the right track. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Yikes! Looks like we found out where the moaning's coming from. Come on, let's try and help it. I'm going to take off his gag. There you go. Thank you. Now find the keys to unlock me. They're somewhere in this room. Like, hey, it looks like one of those old player pianos. I wonder if it works. Good job. We found one. A key. Jinkies, it's one of the keys. Thank goodness you've come. Those chains were beginning to chafe. And who are you, delightful young people? I'm Fred. And this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo! I'm Artie Fact, professor of archaeology. My students and I have been excavating this old ghost town. I was working here in the saloon when someone grabbed me from behind and tied me up. It's a good thing we came along. Where are your students? Most of them have been chased away by the Faceless Rider. The Faceless Rider? Zoinks! You see, Los Burritos used to be a famous outlaw town. Everyone from James Jester to the El Cito Bandito used to make a home here. Now my students are convinced that their ghosts are haunting this town. I don't blame them for feeling that way. The Faceless Rider is quite a spectacle as he sits atop his horse, cloak blowing in the wind. Jinkies, that sounds just like the rider we saw coming into town. Like I told you it was a ghost. Ghost or not, we're getting to the bottom of this. Take a look at this. I found it at the old cemetery. Thanks. That could come in handy. We'll take it along. Suspects include... These are lifts to make a horse look taller. Are there any short horses around here? Pies. Delicious pies. Yummy. <laughs> like pie in the sky. Look out. Uh-oh. It looks like there's going to be a pie fight. Jinkies, showdown at pie noon. Like, look out, Scoob! Use 
your mouse to move Scooby left and right. Then click on your mouse button to throw. What's upstairs? Let's split up. You guys stay here. We'll be right back. Okay. Why would a ghost be haunting this old town? This was a big hideout for old time outlaws. But I wonder. Wonder what? If there isn't a brand new outlaw in this town. Let's check out the view. It's the faceless rider. He's digging out there. We've got to find a way out to the graveyard. That grave might have an important clue. Hey, we found a nickel. Great. Hold on to it. I think we'll need it. Scoob, give that bull the ride of its life. Where'd it go, Scoob? Scooby-Doo! Let's keep going. The bank vault is locked. Oh well, I guess we can't go in. Ruin. Scoob, nice work. Right. <laughs> Retro. It's the railroad station. Like, wake up, old prospector dude. How do we wake him up? Listen, he's snoring a melody. I know. Let's try playing the same melody he's snoring. Like I don't see a piano. Use the bells on the donkey. If we play the bells in the right order, I'm sure he'll wake up. He sure does snore loud. <laughs> You're one to talk. Howdy, kids. Have you got my teeth? Huh? What? My teeth. My teeth. Have you got my teeth? Teas? Beef? 
doesn't like what's he saying? Retro! Afternoon, folks. What brings you to Los Burritos? We're just passing through, Sheriff. Are you the local law? I'm Chuck D. Wagon, the Sheriff of El Seco. El Seco? The county seat, just down the highway from here. You must be here to capture the faceless rider. Leave it to the professionals. That's my motto. We're crime solvers, too. We call ourselves Mystery Inc. Well, if you're crime solvers, then you must be pretty observant. You betcha! In fact, we haven't seen a single hot dog stand. What I mean is, you must have observed some facts about the town. I've got questions for you. Answer them, and I'll tell you what I know. How much does a ride on the mechanical bull cost? A nickel? A dime? A quarter? A silver dollar? A quarter? A nickel? You're right! What building is next to the saloon? The bank? The post office? The general store? The White House. The you know your stuff. What color are the saloon curtain? Red, white, blue, key lime. Red, blue, yes indeed. Please bring me something that tells the population of the town. Here you go, sir. Yes indeed. This is what I've been waiting for. Say, what do you folks think about this? I found it out on Boot Hill. Thanks. That could come in handy. We'll take it along. Suspects include... Look! An old musty map. And it shows a new way through the tunnel. To Boot Hill. Like if you're done checking out all the suspects and clues, click on... Run! <laughs> Are you sure? This old water pump is broken. Like where's the handle? Perhaps something else. Now that we have the handle, we can make the pump work. Let's give it a try. Keep pumping. Why? I think there's something stuck in there. All right. Keep pumping. Something came out. It's a key. A key. A small one, like you'd find in a padlock or a strong box. Like we've had enough excitement for one day. All right, you three stay here, and we'll check it out. Someone dug a hole in the floor. It must have been Professor Fax's students doing some exploring. I wonder what they were looking for. Did you notice these bricks? Yeah, some of them are a strange color. Let's split up. Right. Shaggy, Scooby, and I will check out the sheriff's office. We'll be right back. Run, run, run. It's a wanted poster for the Faceless Rider. Like the Faceless Rider's been around a long time. According to this, the Faceless Rider was involved in a lot of gold robbery. It's the general store. Hurrah! Scoob, how can you think of clocks while I'm hungry? you and Daphne stay here. The boys and I'll check out this one. Count me out. I'm staying right here. What if I count out three, Scooby Snack? Then I'd say you're good at counting. Let's keep going. We're running 
out of time. Zoinks! Like what's that pounding? It's coming from under the stage. Thanks, folks. Oh, I'm glad you heard me knocking. What were you doing under the stage? I was digging under the stage when this ghostly figure in a cloak locked me in. I'm Jenny Lariat, by the way. I'm doing research on hauntings in the Old West. Note. Faceless rider spotted in saloon. Like, what a coincidence! We're running from a ghost, too! I think the faceless rider may be the ghost of one of the old brick-in-the-wall gang. The town of Los Burritos has quite a history of outlaw activity. This place used to be crawling with cutthroats and thieves. Oh! Run cutthroats! The most notorious outlaws were the brick-in-the-wall gang. They were famous for fast riding and daring robberies. About 150 years ago, they robbed a huge shipment of gold from the El Seiko treasury. Rumor has it they buried the gold somewhere in this town. Like maybe the ghost doesn't want anybody to find the gold. I don't know. It sounds suspicious to me. I've been finding strange things all over town. Take a look at this. Suspects include... ding a -ling, It's a cowbell. Or is it a... Redwall Star! Okay, gang, let's pry the clock loose and take it. Put it in and set it to 1120. It worked! The vault is opening! Let's go in and check it out. It's a safe, and it's locked. Come on, gang. We need to find the combination. Oops, that's not the one we want. Try another one. Oops, that's not the one we want. Try another one. It's a set of false teeth. Gross. I'm sure we can find a home for these. I did have you got. Here you go, sir. Thanks for the teeth. I hit them so as the bandits couldn't steal my gold tooth. Oh, I got something for you young whippersnappers. Thanks. That could come in handy. We'll take it along. Suspects include... Soap! A fresh bar of it! Looks like somebody's trying to keep a clean nose! Like if you're done checking... school which way
way down, school. Like, where are we now? At my dig site. Interrupting my work with your untidy presence. How am I supposed to get any work done if you keep bothering me? Who are you? Irving C. Double. And who might this messy pair be? Lost. We're lost. And we're Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. I'm trying to fix this artifact I found. I can't see it very well. I must get my eyes checked. Perhaps you can help me. But don't touch me. You're filthy. Click the pieces with your mouse and place them so they form a picture. a trifle I can't be bothered with. Perhaps it will assist you. Suspects include... It's a copy of Ghostly Tales magazine. Somebody here must like ghosts. Like if you're done checking out all the suspects include... Say, what's this? Oh, oh, well rhyme. Okay.
like you won't find me in a jail cell. I'm scared of tight places. Wee woo. How about if I give you three Scooby Snacks? Then, like I'm cured, man. Wee woo. Like I don't know about that. Let's keep going. We're running out of time. Come on, Scoob. Let's get into the pokey. Weepy. You can say that again. Okay. Weepy. <laughs> Guys! Guys, where are you? I can't see without my glasses. What was that? Like, why did you lock us in, Velma? I didn't. I lost my glasses. Zoinks! Like we're trapped. How are we going to get out? I'll be right back. I'm going to go for help. Let's take this blanket. It might come in handy. Wrap time? We'll take a nap when we get out of here. Spider! Spider! Zoinks! Like it looks like a tunnel. It's our only way out of here. Right, well, let's go. Ah! Boy, it sure is crafty in here. Yeah. Like there's another way out, but it's up through the ceiling. Oh, no. Let's hope it leads to the kitchen. Like, where are we now? The roast office. Great. Like, mail me out of this crazy town. That was it. That's the combination. Golly, it's a secret passageway. Like a safe with a hole in it isn't very safe at all. Right, Scoop? Right. Right. <laughs> it's a back alley. We must be behind the bank in the general store. That must be where the other door leads, the general store. <laughs> Yikes! I don't like the sound of that rattle. We're staying here. Would you come along for three Scooby Snacks? Like keep talking. We're listening. Let's keep going. We're running out of time. Rutwell. Yikes! Snacks! <laughs> Well, we could stay here, or we could keep in back. That gives me an idea. Why don't we use the blanket to cover the snake? It's a lantern. We better keep that for when it gets dark. It'll come in handy. Looks good.
Now that we've got the lantern, let's see what's down there. Why do we have to? Come on, scaredy cats. Just as I thought, there's another way out of this tunnel. Let's see where it leads. As long as there's food on the other end, I was thinking of a football hot dog with relish and sardine. Mm. Come on, gang. We need to find the gravestone the ghost was visiting. Let's do a little digging and see what we can find. Hmm. Which one? Run right away. Like, this is super creepy. I prefer to visit graveyards from a distance. Will you come along for some Scooby snacks? I hope you brought three. Let's keep exploring. We're sure to find something. Let's keep checking. The ghost was digging out here somewhere. Like, maybe somebody hid cheeseburgers behind it. It's another one of those bricks. And it's painted like those bricks at the post office. Let's wash this one off and see what it's made of. But we'll need water. I know just the place, the old water trough. Let's wash the brick and see what it looks like. Hey, this must be some of the gold that the brick in the wall gang stole. Like that means the faceless rider will come after us for sure. That's what I'm counting on. Nice work, Freddy. We were right behind you all the time, Fred. Yeah, way behind. It's time to declare this mystery solved. Right, Velma. I think it's time we wrapped up this mystery. Like if you're done checking out all the suspects, let's find out who it is. We'll have to choose one. Let's roll. Let's pull back his hood. Time to see a ghost. Huh? My gosh, it's Gummy. Like what do you know? We were right. Dag nabbage, how'd you meddlesome kids figure that out? Actually, it was Dolores the donkey that showed us the way. The donkey? Yeah, she must have dropped a bell while she was disguised. And those horseshoe lifts made her taller, tall enough to be the faceless rider's horse. Officer Wyatt, I'm glad you got our call. Glad to help, kids. This must be our gold thief. He sure is. And he's our ghost, too. Ghost woo! It turns out the old brick in the wall gang lived up to its name. They hit their gold in the walls of the post office, disguised as ordinary bricks. Our thief here was taking the walls apart to steal the gold and hiding it on Boot Hill. Come on, fella. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Dagnabbers and hollywinkers. I was rich. I was gonna be richer than a rabbit with a carrot farm. And Dolores would have been covered in diamonds and furs. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I think your donkey would have preferred oats. You don't need diamonds in jail. Well, that don't beat all. For once, there would have been gold in them nar heels, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddlesome kids. Well, gang, looks like our work here is done. I feel pretty good. <laughs> Me too. How about you, Shaggy? Oh, sure. It's great. We're in the middle of the desert with no gold and no food. I'm hungry. What's that? It sounds like the faceless rider. It can't be. It's getting louder. I've heard that sound before. It's Scooby's stomach. Like, he's hungry. <laughs> I hear there's a great pancake house in El Seco. Let's roll. <laughs> Scooby Doo! Say, Scoob, how many fleas does it take to elect a congressman? Uh, well, I don't know, Maggie. Me neither. But, like, I think you have a quorum. Scoob.
me get it, Quorum? Maybe not. What's sarsaparilla? It's an old-time soft drink, kind of like root beer. Is it delicious and foamy? I would imagine. Is it thirst-quenching and yummy? Probably. Do you have any? Please, Shaggy, not now. <laughs> How can he sleep standing up? Aw, oh, that's nothing. He can eat while sleeping. That's amazing. That's nothing. I can do all three at once. See you soon!